Hello and welcome friends of Sudoku to an expert puzzle by LPEs. As always, I should remind you that I'm not in charge of classifying these puzzles. Whether we find them to be expert or hard or even easy is entirely up to us. I just enjoy solving those and uh, that's all there is to it. Today is February the 16th. You will not see this puzzle today. You will see it at a later date. I will upload it and store it on YouTube to be released on one of those days when I'm otherwise occupied and when I can't record anything. That out of the way, let's have a look at the sevens in the right shoot. We have sevens here blocking like so, and we have a seven blocking here. This must be a seven. You have a couple of nines blocking here and here, and this nine blocks here. So here's a nine. We have eights blocking across and up, and eight must go here. We have twos blocking here and here and here, and here, here's a two. These twos block across, and this two blocks up. Here's another two. And I think we can find one more, yes. Choose block across here and down here. Two here. The last twos I can't solve yet. We're going to need a two either here or here and either here or here. They'll have to wait. This square is pretty congested, isn't it? It can't be a two, three, or a seven. So it must be a one or a four. We also have one and four blocking across here and one blocking up here. So yes, it's a one or a four. I'm afraid though that is as close as I can get. We will have a nine either here or here because this nine blocks down. One of these must be a nine blocking across and this nine also blocks across. Just something to keep in mind. And beside the nine, we're going to have a seven because we have a seven here and here blocking across. So these two squares must be a seven and a nine. So a one, three and a five for these squares here, which I can't solve yet. But if we look at it from a different angle, we can see that the seven and nine here rule out anything else, of course. Now we have a one, eight, and a five blocking here and here. So we know that these three squares have got to be an eight, five, and a one. Therefore, these must be a six and a four. Now that's a lot to keep in short-term memory because now we know that one of these must be a six. And we know that one and four block across here still. This is a little foggy, I think. But I need to keep this in mind. This must be a three or a seven, however. Don't really seem to be able to get on with this. Um, this is a seven or this is a seven. That's clear. These two squares must be an eight and a nine. And I can say this because we have an eight and a nine blocking here and we have an eight and a nine blocking here. So yes, eight and nine must go here. And that of course rules out a one for these two squares. And we have a one blocking down here and over here and over here. So this is a one. The four blocks down here. So we've got to have a four here or here blocking up. So in addition to a one, we are going to have a four in two of these three cells here. This has got to be a two. This two blocks here. 
there's two blocks here, there's two blocks here. So yes, here's a two. These twos lock across. There's two blocks down. So the final two for today goes here. Three, four, five here. Three, five, six here. Six blocks up, six blocks over, six must go here. We do remember, I'm sure, that these two must be a six and a four. So the six now forces a four to go here and the six here. These fours block here. Here's a four. See how neatly our one, five, eight also appear here. These three squares also have got to be a one, five and an eight. All we can say is that this is a one or a five because the eight already blocks this square. Three and five here now, five blocks here. Here's a three, here's a five. Eight, nine, four, three. Therefore, a five, six here. Six blocks, here's a five, here's a six. The square can only be a five. And now a one and a three for these two squares. The three blocks over, here's a one and here's a three. That looks about right. Remembering that these are seven, nine, we know that this must be a one. Here is a small observation. This seven blocks here, this seven blocks here. So it's clear now that one of these must be a seven blocking across. This seven blocks across. So look at this. One of these two squares must be a seven. And remember which other two squares must be a seven? Here or here. So where now can we place a seven in column two, clearly not here, 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 and here, it must go here. We need a six for one of these cells here. This six blocks here, this six blocks here. So here's a six. This six blocks down, this blocks down, this blocks over, and this blocks over. Six here. One and four here. The one blocks up, giving me a four like so, and a one like so. Two ones block across, one blocks down. Here's a one. Five and eight here now, remember? Also five and eight here. We found this six, which blocks across. We have this six blocking up, so here's a six. Now a uh, four, seven, and three for these squares. Three blocks up, so this is a four, seven. Four blocks over three, seven. Uh, not sure about that. We can do something for these empty squares. We need to find a three, five, eight, and a nine. There's a five, eight, and a nine. They all block this square, it must be a three. Now we can figure out what these two are because we know that these must be a one, five, and a seven. The one and a seven, of course. Force a five to go here. The one forces a seven to go here, and this must be a one. Let me do this seven before I forget it, because of this seven blocks down, the seven blocks over, the seven blocks over, the seven blocks down. Now let me get back to these two. They must be a four and a three. The three blocks up, here's a four, here's a three, and here therefore is a seven. Seven blocks down here, now we know this is a nine, and this is a seven. Still a five eight here. 
also a 5 8 here this can only be a 3 we need a 4 for this row remember how these are 4 and 3 so we can't have a 4 here we can't have a 4 here we can't have a 4 here so we must have a 4 here Logic is just so wonderful, isn't it? Three, five, and nine. We can't do anything about that yet. Five, eight, nine here. No, all we can say is a nine, a nine must go here or here, and therefore here or here. We're also going to have an eight either here or here. We know this is an 8, 9, don't we? And we know this is an 8, 9 because this is also an 8, 9. So we've got 8, 9 here and 8, 9 here. That leaves three squares to figure out and they can't be 8, 9. They must be a 3, 4 and a 5. We have a 3 and a 4 here, so this must be a 5. Now this is an 8 and this is a 5 which blocks across. Now we have a five here. Fives and fives block down, five blocks across, five here. Eight and nine here, nine blocks down, eight here, nine here. Nine blocks across, nine blocks down, nine here, therefore an eight here. And an eight here and a nine here. We already went over this, so there's no real reason for us to analyze it again. 3, 4, 3, 4. 3, 4, not 3, 4. Unique rectangle strikes again. But we can deal with this issue without even thinking about a unique rectangle because this 8 blocks here and this 8 blocks here, so this is an 8. This 4 blocks down, therefore we do have a 4 here and a 3 here and a 3 here and a 4 here. This three forces a three to go here, and this square must be a nine. That's it. Thank you for watching, and please come back for more soon. Bye for now.